everyone i hope you guys are doing well today i want to talk about a few products that i have been enjoying for the month of august i don't have a ton but i do have a few that i really have been loving all month long the first product is actually a nail polish and it is what i'm wearing on my nails right now and i've been wearing it for the past few weeks now i do really like it it is from sinful color so it's really affordable it's like two dollars at the drugstore i believe i got this in a subscription box but i honestly can't remember which one it might have been walmart it might have been Beauty Box 5 or even Target. I'm not 100% sure. But it is in the color Supernova. And it's a really nice um, kind of rose gold-ish nail polish. But to be honest with you, it's definitely more like a pink silver. Um, but it's nice and metallic. And I just really like the way that it looks. I feel like it's a nice like neutral and it goes with most things. And you can wear it most days too. So yeah, I really like this a lot. My favorite lipstick this month, and a lot of you have actually been asking what I've been wearing on my lips, and it's this. This is from Tarte. This is their Butter Lipstick. I believe the packaging is different now, though. It's like a different design, but this is in the shade Plummy Rose, and I don't have much of it left anymore. Um, this is probably going to be the first lipstick I finish um, in a really long time, actually. Um, but I've talked about this before, um, like in a past, like favorites. I do really like this. It's a great color to just slap on. I am wearing it right now. It's very like natural. It's like a my lips but better. It just makes your lips better um, and I like the texture of it it is their butter lipstick so it's very moisturizing glides on really easily you don't have to put a chapstick on underneath but yeah I really like this color a lot it's a great like just throw it on and you're out the door kind of color next is from YSL I got this in a Vox box and I actually just did a review slash a demo using this product as well as the primer so if you haven't seen that already I will link that video down below but this is their Touche La Blur Perfector and I'm actually going to put some on now because I'm looking kind of shiny it's pretty much like a balm like mattifier and I just take it on a dry beauty blender and I just like pat it into my skin and it instantly mattifies which I think is super cool and it doesn't add any of the extra like cakiness that a powder can sometimes add um, it's just nice especially if you have oily skin I really like it a lot and the final beauty related favorite I have is actually a perfume also the subscription Scentbird this is the first month that I've gotten to try Scentbird and I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to try it because I think it is awesome I love perfume but I never finish a whole bottle so it's great to have like a little bottle of it to try out every month so I think that that's really cool and you get to choose which perfume you want um, so I do have a video on Scentbird if you haven't seen it already there's more information on the subscription I will link that video down below as well but look how awesome this case is you just twist it and the little spray comes out um, so this is my my favorite perfume of the month um, this is Juliet has a gun not a perfume I mentioned in that video I have wanted to buy a full size of this not really but I just wanted more of this perfume but the full size is like really expensive and I didn't know if I was gonna finish it or not so I'm glad to have a really decent amount of it now and I really like this it's very unique it's not for everyone it's definitely like a one note perfume that's all that's in here is like one perfume ingredient and that's why they call it like not a perfume it's not like a blend or anything like that so it's definitely very different but I really like it and I've been wearing it all month long so that's a favorite Oh, I did forget one other makeup item. This is the eyeshadow that I've been wearing all month long. It is from ColourPop. It is in the color Lala. Um, it's this really nice kind of like bronzy color. They describe it as like a rose gold to me, like on my eyes. It's definitely like more like a bronzy, like um, gold color. Um, it's really pretty. I got this in a Beautycon BFF summer box, and I'm really glad that I got it in there because I have been wearing it all month long. It's really pretty. It's a nice kind of like neutral, but adds a little bit of like a sheen to your eyes because it is a metallic finish so I really like that a lot so that's it as far as beauty and makeup related favorites go this month as far as random favorites obviously my planner I've still been obsessed with watching planner related videos Etsy sticker hauls also I have really been enjoying filming my plan with me videos this month I was a little nervous about it I wasn't sure how I was gonna set it up and all that stuff but I've really been having so much fun doing it and a lot of you guys have left me some really sweet comments so thank you so much for that that's definitely been a favorite this month 
Um, also, a favorite like food or snack item, apples with peanut butter and chunky peanut butter, which is different for me because I'm normally like a creamy peanut butter girl, but Blake likes chunky peanut butter. And I bought a case of apples from Costco and I was like, you know what I haven't had in a really long time? Apples and peanut butter, which my friend Bless actually introduced me to back in college. Um, so I decided to eat some and all we had was chunky peanut butter. And so I was like, okay, whatever, I'll try it. And it's actually really good. I mean, peanut butter and apples in general are really good. But the chunky peanut butter is really good because it adds an extra, like, texture in there. And it gives it more of, like, a peanutty taste. I don't know. Delicious. We finished, like, a case of, like, I think it was, like, a dozen within, like, a week or two. <laughs> it was, like, our dessert for, like, a couple nights because it was just, I mean, Blake and I just really liked it. And I introduced Blake to peanut butter and apples because he's never had it before. And he agrees and it's delicious too. All right, as far as TV shows go, last month I talked about Drop Dead Diva that I was watching that. Well, I finished it like early this month um, and I really liked the series in general, like as a whole, I really enjoyed it. I wasn't too thrilled with how it ended, unfortunately. Um, so let me know if you guys watched that show and what you thought of the ending. It's just, I felt like it was really anticlimactic. Like it just, it just kind of ended and I didn't really appreciate it, but it was okay. Um, it wasn't horrible, but still not what I was expecting. But another TV show that I started watching this month and actually finished this month, sadly, was Orange is the New Black. And I don't know why I waited so long to watch it. Actually, no, I know why I waited so long to watch it. It's because prison movies and shows kind of give me anxiety because I am the type of person who likes to put myself in people's shoes a lot and so imagining myself going to prison really really scares me um just the whole like environment of it and me and people and like the violence stuff like that I don't know it just scares me so I wasn't sure what Orange is the New Black was going to be about I just knew that she was in prison and I didn't really want to go there but I'm glad that I did honestly the first few episodes I was like on the verge of like cringing almost like the whole time because I was scared that something really bad was going to happen but anyway it was really good the characters actually end up being really likable you end up rooting for these like criminals um because they kind of give you like a backstory but yeah I'm so glad that I started watching it but I finished all three was it three three seasons yeah I think I finished all three seasons within like a few weeks because I was addicted like I just needed to finish it and see what was going to happen and I know the fourth season I think it's supposed to come out next year is that is that right I don't know I'm not really 100% sure but kind of sad that I have to wait so long for the next season to come out but yeah I'm so glad that I started it I know a lot of people really like that show and I was like I don't understand like why but now that I've watched it, I understand. But yeah, those are all of my favorites for the month of August. Definitely share some of your favorites down below, whether it be makeup or beauty related, whether it's planner related. I've also been loving Scotch Expressions washi tape. I bought quite a bit at Office Max when they were having their sale love it um also if you have any like favorite tv shows because i'm done with that we're catching up on continuum because season four is coming out um, september 11th so i got blake addicted to that show now but after that i'm kind of like i don't know what show to watch next so if you have any recommendations definitely leave them down below thank you so much for watching i hope you guys are having a great day and i will talk to you guys next time bye